So heading back to learning this year is going to be a lot more stressful for probably everyone. Pandemic has caused so much change for students and families. Today we're talking about some solutions to issues that may come up. Dr. Doug Newton is a psychiatrist, chief medical officer at Sonder Mine. He is it's a resource for mental health experts and uh, Dr. Newton, good morning. Good morning, Gary. First of all, let's talk about elementary students, the, uh, the younger students. What are some of the uh, specific issues that, that you're hearing that families might face for this age group? That's a great question. And it's always complicated, right? There's so many different things that are going on uh, here in 2020 and kids are quite aware of it. Um, and so as we go forward and we go into the fall, you can kind of anticipate a lot of anxiety from kids. Uh, we can feel it in ourselves. So as we feel it at times of not understanding maybe what is going to happen this fall, uh, it's the same with our children. And some of the things that, you know, I kind of go through with uh, our, my patients or, you know, as we're talking about in Sondervine is the three A's of anxiety as well as the three F's. And so they're kind of just uh, an easy, so to speak, uh, way of guidance of looking at, gosh, what are some of the behaviors that we might be seeing? So anything from avoiding things to really having a lot of anticipation about the what ifs and what could happens, and as well as just uh, ambivalence, not being able to make decisions, um, that can manifest its, itself in other ways as far as like actual behaviors of that fight, flight, and freeze response I think many of us have heard. And so, you know, it's really difficult at times for kiddos. And, and at first they may kind of freeze up or if they really feel cornered, they might fight more or be more angry or more irritable. Um, and with all of it, it can manifest itself in changes as far as eating habits or, again, these behaviors, how they're sleeping. You may have a kid that is even regressed a couple years uh, as far as they, they seem emotionally or socially in the past. Yeah, that is unfortunate, but I know you're seeing a lot of that. So what are some of the uh, strategies that you suggest for getting kids through this? Yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of work and research that's been done um, nationally and internationally around something called social emotional wellness or social emotional learning. And with that, you know, this goes well beyond uh, school or school-based learning. And it really has the ability uh, to, you know, help kind of develop our children away and, and have some protective factors with it. So some key areas, uh, and we talk about this more in Sandra Mines blog, but you can kind of go through and, and just have your child, you know, be able to express their feelings. You know, how are they feeling? You'd be surprised sometimes of what their response might be. Let them know that, that you may be feeling that way. So being vulnerable, letting them know that, gosh, I, you know, I'm an adult and, and it's really hard for me to understand what might be happening this fall, uh, but we're gonna get through this together. Uh, and I think that's really important for them to know and for them to understand that though we don't have all the answers, we're gonna be here together, we're gonna figure it out together, your teachers, your educators, you know, the parents, everybody's in this together and we're gonna, we're gonna work through this. Yeah, communication is key, I'm guessing. So uh, if, if families need more information or are seeking it, what would you suggest? Yeah, uh, so I think what I would say is, you know, first, you know, we can start with our blog on sondermind.com. Uh, it's an excellent resource for, uh, again, some really uh, just poignant, uh, you know, information as I was talking about the three A's and the three F's. Um, and there's also some really good information from anything from UNICEF, the CDC, uh, as well as uh, an institution called CASEL, C-A-S-E-L. Um, but all of that is as well as in our blog, uh, and you can take a look at that. Sonder Mind. All right, Dr. Newton, thank you much. We appreciate you. Take care. Thank you.